we made it to Christmas Day with everything that happened on the way. Wow. 2022. All the twos. Too good, too bad. That's the best way I can describe this year, if I'm entirely honest. It's been ups, it's been downs, it's been two up, two down. 2022, all, to, all the twos. So I wanted to do a quick video just to sort of review what's happened this year, all the things that have taken place, things I've learned, things I've been disappointed with, things I've been really happy with, and then what's going to happen in the future. So if that's for you, then, you know, stick around and listen. I'll try and make it as interesting as I can. The year started off with me finishing uh, Memento Mori. It was tracked. It was all in the can. And then I had like three months to edit and put it all together. And it actually went really well. Um, volume two was a very turbulent um, uh, production process. But Memento Mori was a lot of fun and it came together really well. And it was a lot of experimenting. Um, later on in the year, um, a, a good friend of mine actually sent it to Machine the Producer over in the States who loved it. And he wanted to remaster it for me, which was... Uh, I had to go back and make sure it was mixed to a level that he could actually do what he needed to do with it, which was crazy. Um, and I learned so much from that process and the results that he came out with were just insane. You, you've only got to listen to a couple of tracks off there and it just, it's in the face. It's ready to go. I'm so proud of that record and, and everything that, that happened with it. Um, Lizzie came onto the Need Sleep team around March, I think, and she done brilliant and she pulls in help from everywhere she stays in contact with with people but much better than i can because i am a social disaster as everyone knows um i've become more and more of a hermit and i'm happier in my little uh, pink flamingo studio than i am anywhere else <laughs> so without the support of uh lizzie and the need sleep team i probably still wouldn't be doing this right now so i have to thank you for all your work this year it's been amazing um the singles went out born beside the sea was was an amazing moment for me um and this leads me to my first too good started to get airplay started to get interviews on the radio huge thank you to judith pollock for actually putting us put me on the radio first um bringing me out of this little underground bubble i was just so determined to live in uh that really gave me confidence that this could connect with people and then doing the interview with Estella Warren and all the other different stuff that came out of there was just like so cool um and I started to see new I don't like the word fans but see people who were interested in what I was doing coming on board and getting involved uh, I really enjoy that you know I've, I've said before in the past me making music it's about connections it's about trying to connect with people out in the world and find people who think similar to I do and sharing my ideas with them um so for that to start happening was was amazing so that's leads me to my next too bad uh a lot of the people who'd been in my corner and we'd been building a cool little community and stuff like that nowhere to be seen when that song came out and it was really disappointing at first because it was the first time since i've been doing this that i'd experienced how people don't care as much as you think they do and as they say they do and it was, it was like a touch and go moment. I, I, I felt quite put out by it. People just dropped off. And I think it was because they, maybe they thought I was going to start asking them for money and things like that. But that was, that was never the thing, you know, just to have people engaged and, and sort of fight in your corner would have been really good. I got a lot of friends on Facebook. I say friends very lightly um, from my past um, and they don't engage with anything I do. It's because they're just people I happen to have met throughout the years. They're not, they're not friends, and they're not, they're not interested in what I do. So they don't matter. But it's tricky because you realise they don't care, and you've been perhaps too friendly. So that would come under both. I don't want to stop being friendly, but also it seems that they're more prepared to spend their money and give time to someone who doesn't have an interest in them at all other than their wallets um, because they're desperate for their approval and that's a game I just don't want to play I'm a musician I'm here to make music and I'm here to tell you my views of the world not to get involved in your self-esteem issues so that's that's that taken care of 
Uh, we did the pre-sales for the album, which was amazing. That comes under too good. Um, we sold out of the vinyl and we sold a really good amount of the digital deluxe CD version with the t-shirt and everything else. Um, and we signed with Slipstick Records, which is also too good. I love that one. Um, they licensed the the record uh, for sale in Europe. And unfortunately, uh, and this is too good and too bad. Uh, this meant that they wanted to, they had their own release schedule and things that they wanted to go with. So we had to cancel those sales, which was really devastating for me um, financially. Um, and also I wanted people to start hearing it, you know, and, and getting it out there. So, but it's for the greater good in the long run. And I understand that. And I've got to not be like a child at Christmas every time something doesn't quite go the way I hoped. So, yeah, that was a learning curve. Um, but it was still encouraging to see the reaction of people who were prepared to support and get behind what I do. So thank you so much. That was a huge moment for me in 2022. We got picked up by uh, Metal Devastation PR, who were really pushing our stuff out in uh, the States. And we started to get college airplay and rock radio airplay out there. We were getting involved in competitions and rotation and stuff. It was it was crazy. And we picked up some really awesome American fans. Um, so that is too good. Can't complain about that whatsoever. Um, learning not to put out songs with swearing in it, that's too bad because that ain't going to stop. So that's too bad for them. Uh, other things that happened this year that were really good. Uh, Sean Nugent uh, got involved around the time that One More Story came out. He was in the video for that and has been involved heavily ever since. Uh, Brandon Lee Bolt has now got involved. And the thing about Punishment Essay is we're all multi-instrumentalists. We're all writers. We're, we all have wear many hats so you might see sean playing the bass in the video but he writes songs man and they're going to be on the next record and they're going to really yeah they're going to make a difference because they're huge they're already becoming a uh, need sleep's favorite songs so i need to up my game or, or at least make myself more presentable and i'm really excited about what he's bringing forward uh brandon's going to put some stuff forward that's going to be technically ridiculous um so that's going to be uh really exciting as well so actually having people on board and, and collaboration and things like that it's, it's made this whole thing so much better so that comes firmly under too good that is just too good um what else have we had happen this year we noticed social media continues to be too bad we have tried a lot of things uh lizzie has tried Lots of different ways of trying to create engagement and get people to click like and show support and stuff. And, so, and a lot of things work. A lot of things don't work. So we're still in that process right now of trying to engage with new people. There's a lot of music out there. I mean, we do appreciate that. Um, you know, back in the old days, it used to be about getting the record deal and getting you published meant that you'd arrived at the show. You know, you, you had your ticket to Willy Wonka's factory, <laughs> you know. But these days, recording and publishing is the easiest part. It's now convincing people that your your art, your creativity is worthy of their time and their money and them supporting it. So we are still trying to find our way through that. So if you do see a post from us and things like that, and you think, well, I already know that. You know, I already know this, Dev. Hit the like button. It doesn't cost you anything. Bookmark certain videos by us it just helps get it out there further so I, I, not to sound like a broken record but it, it it's always appreciated any engagement that you show with us but it really 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 helps us out so thank you for getting involved and apologies if you see any monotonous content out there because we got to try new things to keep these things going um what else has happened? So let's talk about albums. So volume three will be under release, I think, early 2023. And Slip Trick will be dealing with that now. So you'll probably see it pop up on Spotify uh, for sale 
um, all those sorts of things. I'm really excited about it. But my head has already moved into um, the next record, which I'm working on with Sean and Brandon as we speak. Uh, it's loosely working title is the Depression Sessions, which so, which I thought was a very Sean thing. Um, and it's sort of a natural continuation of Anxious Mind. So as you might know or might not know, Anxious Mind was a sort of a side story from the Punishment Essay records, um, the main volumes of those. So the main volumes of Punishment Essay deal with deliberate things that have happened um, to me and are quite, you know, emotionally impactful events that I'm sort of trying to rationalise. And so it's the before, mid, the after, you know, and the sort of growth that comes from these bad things happening. Whereas Anxious Mind was me talking about sort of where I'm at, you know, uh, personally, uh, mentally, physically, my health and mental health, the, all these sorts of important things we should be talking about. And so the Depression Sessions, which is still a working title, is where we're at with that. And Sean's collaborated uh, three songs for it already, which are amazing. Um, and I think the first single off it is is likely to be his. Uh, we've got a we got reworked versions of Anxious Mind going on there, along with four new songs for me, and then some new songs from Brandon. It's going to be a hell of a thing, and the production on it is sounded huge, absolutely massive. If you thought the Christmas single was big you haven't heard anything yet trust me it's gonna be amazing so that's well i think we finished tracking that in february so that should be doing the rounds uh pr we're gonna see if we can get that licensed um, by someone else otherwise we will put it out ourselves and probably around the summer and hopefully around that sort of time we will be trying to do some shows which is an ongoing battle in this country brexit you know uh it's it's very difficult for us to get together and go out and do shows and make it financially viable at the moment. So we're still working that out. And I believe Slip Trick are looking at festivals in Europe next year. So that's why I have to come out to Europe to see us. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. Other records that are coming out next year. This is a personal one for me. Uh, me and Darren Fuller, we went out down to Wales um, after talking for some time. And in a weekend we recorded playing in the low leagues which is a sort of retrospective of little london uh and this was just so much fun to do on a farm down in wales with julian and, and some really good people involved it was a great experience it's one you always sort of dream about having and it's at the, at the end of the day it's the band is not back together it's we're, we're not doing little london again we're just very sad that the only sort of digital presence we have is that very poor sounding record uh, of demos that got put out by Five Star uh, back in the day. So we decided we wanted to set the record straight, do it on our terms and do those songs justice, you know, and I think we've done that. So in 2023, you are going to see that record come out, which is which is great. And we may do one or two shows to film for a DVD or, you know, sort of a video to uh, cap that off and set those memories in stone in a way that we don't cringe at when we look at it. But it's sounding really, really good. Uh, and it's great to be working with Fuller again. Uh, uh, definitely a highlight of the year for me in a lot of ways. Uh, the Volume 1 remake is finished. Um, I'm, it's sat there mixed. All I need to do at the moment is put the samples back in, um, which I can't seem to get uh, from the hard drive that they were all living on. So it's possible that volume one will sound even more different, uh, not just more modern and big um, and better realized. It will also have different samples. So songs may take on a slightly different edge to it. And I think that makes it a really exciting prospect. And I just want to bring those songs in line with the current uh output that we're doing so that they can stand the test of time a little better because as much as i love what uh warren did with um volume one i just feel it needs it, it's, it sounds its age to me now so it, it needs bringing bringing up to date 
Volume 2 is getting uh, remixed and remastered. It won't sound too much different to the one that exists. Um, uh, it's it's more about sort of sonically um, making a bit more a bit more pleasing on the ear and sonically correct. So it plays better on other devices and things like that. That won't be so different. I'm not re-recording anything for that. Um, I just, I've done one of the tracks already and put them out to a couple of a uh, couple of fans, and they've been incredibly positive about the changes. So I think that's that's going to be really good. Now I just want to make it very clear: anyone who's bought those albums in the past, you will get the digital copy of the new one for free. I will make sure that just comes straight to you. Um, I've got a list of most people who've bought them, but anyone who has bought them and stuff, just get in touch with me and I'll make sure you get them. The physical copies, um, I will need you to buy those again. Uh, well, I say again, you'll need to, they will still need to be purchased because of the cost that comes on us. And everything I sell is basically for cost anyway. So yeah, you'll get the digital copy. So you'll have the songs for free. You've bought the songs once, you get the songs again. Um, this isn't a money spinner in any way. Um, but if you would like a physical copy of it, then I've, that's a slightly different investment. I hope that's okay. And uh, just let me know if it's not. Um, so they're both coming out this year, uh, 2023, which is going to be really exciting. And yeah, it's looking like a really busy year, which leads me to my final point where my production work um, is, is, is been very steady throughout the year. Um, and I've just started an awesome project with the guys from Hole Tripper, who are an incredibly exciting band. Um, they've got such a cool vibe and so much material to work with. We're currently just remastering their original record with them and going back in and remixing some songs. And then we're starting work in January on their on their new EP. And then I believe uh, some other things are in the pipeline as well next year. Uh, lots of stuff for us to work through. So I'm incredibly excited about 2023 and working with those guys. It looks like they've got a lot of songs to get through. So yeah, if um, anyone's looking to work with the dev next year, you may need to get in fast because it looks like most of my year is being taken up already, um, which obviously fills me with a lot of joy um, because it takes a lot of the worry out of my, my year. That's about it for now. I hope you don't get too drunk on New Year's. Don't start the year with a terrible hangover. Start it as you mean to go on. Get out of bed. Feel great. Kick its ass. Take care of business. 2023 is going to be really good for me. Really good for need sleep. Excellent for punishment essay. And I hope it's excellent for you too. I know it's been a long video. Hopefully it's been interesting in some way and I haven't waffled too much. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. 2023. Let's be having you. F*** you. Yeah.